Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. All the way down in here. We're also going to put this as... Well, I guess I don't need to put this as a priority nine because they're able to reach in here quite well. If we can just have them do the various deliveries. They're not doing the deliveries. There, right, well, they've gone and done that. So next, dig that bit out and also dig that line out. We get them to dig off a load of this. I need another bit of ladder in there so that they've got like a scaffolding that goes all the way across. Because I just want to build it up from the bottom. I don't need to worry about the top bit. So I want to dig that over to there. I'll dig those two. And through they come, they take off the granite in here, and then I've got a load of material in through there that they can go and do something with. Uh, dig that and that. Shouldn't take them too long. It's only too high on that, so where did that... Oh, the sand! That came from all the way up the top here. They can reach those bits up there, that's good. And then they can reach these bits in here. I've got some digging that they're doing in there, as well as analysing that one right in there. And dig that bit off. And the rest of this, I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll leave that bit going. Next, over this side, let's go and check out the rest of the base and just make sure things are coming along well. We've got a nice lot of water in here still. That's doing good. The anti-entropy thing, I'm still kind of working on that, but yeah, we're, we're leaving that. So one thing at a time, like power is fine. Our power situation has been dealt with and I want to stay on this one item at a time kind of focus because it's definitely better. There's a load of crude oil down there. I don't need to worry about anything else over that side. So let's go all the way over to this side and see what we got down here. I've got granite and stuff in there, and I've got a whole load of water and so on in here. So I've got a bit of a ladder there that started coming down. I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to keep digging down there at the moment. I'm going to work on this bit in here. And I want these guys to fill all of this one up. And this is all I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep filling this one up like this. So that's going to go in there and that one's going to go there like that. And I'm just going to slowly pull this one all the way back through. Um, just fill everything up with building wall. And then I got more building wall up here. So I'm going to set this. We'll go with granite for a minute. I'm going to set this with a priority. Ooh, actually, no, I kind of want to save my granite. So I'll do it with Igneous Rock, but I'll set it as a 9 now. Everything that I do on this for, for like the rest of this, we, we will set this as a 9. So that they do start coming through and building this up the way that I would like them to. We've got a nice bit of salt water coming in. The moment is just dribbling into there. Once I have filled this up and pulled the water out this way a bit, uh, then we can get them to move things around. To worry about it too much at the minute. The thing I haven't checked is to see the condition of the oxygen supply. The oxygen supply should be all right. Oh, I need to go and do this as well, don't I? Uh, plumbing. That was a uh, liquid bridge that I wanted. So that's feeding them, and that's the same supply that I want going in here. So I need that one to go that way. We're going to go one there and one there like that, so it bridges across. So you're going to go up into there. You're going to step across there, and you are going to go up into there, and then up into there, and then up into there, like that, so that I've got all three of those in place. They will go and build in the pipes, and then I've got three more of these up and running. I've got hydrogen generators here, three down here, and I've got another th four up there, so I've got loads of hydrogen generators, and i got a mass of hydrogen up here as well. 
If we check the ventilation... Uh, it is coming through. It's this one down here. Right, it's, it's quite slow going in here. But, I mean, the main reason for that is that it's quite slow running up into this bit. I've got all of this oxygen coming in from up here. And there's just nowhere for it to go, really. I got this oxygen coming in here. That's stepping up. That's going up this way. That's completely jammed full up there. And jammed full out this way. Like, I've, I've got nowhere for the oxygen to go anymore. I've used it all up. I've got everything that's completely crammed full in the oxygen. And I've got this little bit of... Um, natural gas that's coming back through here and it's filling up these tanks because these natural gas generators aren't running all that much. I've got the smart batteries, they're full of power and these guys, they're, they're running like crazy and they're, they're keeping those going and that's absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, they're, they're sort of slowly running out of, of, of stuff, really. Right, I'll keep this with the igneous rock. I'm going to pop that one down there like that and let them just fill in that bit. And then we're going to go all the way back up to the top up here. And they've done most of it apart from digging off those in there and putting in these two. I've got this just in here to do. So I'm going to change the priority levels on this because I want this to be done. There's one more thing that we want done. And we take that in there and we have a look at this. Analysis complete. Salt water, 7.5 kilos per second at 95 degrees. Eruption period, 418 seconds every 600. Analysis complete. Idle erupts in 0 0.4 seconds. So I've got a nice lot of salty water that's going to come out of there. I've got digging priorities going into you. We've got a whole load of dupes coming on up to do that. And then I've also got... All of the salt water in here, and I'm now going to pop that all the way down along there. I'm going to do that. Just two of them. That's all I'm going to do in there. And that's going to slowly just push this all the way back out again. So I get over to here somewhere. You know what? It would be easier and quicker if I was to remove that and that. Because it's the right height in here. So if I get them to remove that bit, then I can build this up a layer at a time all the way back up to the top. Um, that They'll go through and they'll do it just a little bit faster than they're working right now. And then base, tile, put that into there like that. Actually, they can go all the way over to here and put that one over to there like that. And that's all on a priority nine now. Do the same here with this one and put that all the way through and run it down there like that. Possibly I might need to change some of this. And I'm, I know I'm just basically just building a large block of rock here. And it's probably not the best way to go about doing any of the things that I should be doing. But it's going to work. As long as it works, I don't really mind. So I'm going to bring you over there with one, two, three stuck out on the end. So we'll do another one like that. One, two, three, like that. You are busy putting in these blocks in here. And I put one there. And I've got two up there. I can reach one of them, even if I can't reach the other one. So then I'll go back through and I'll do this again. That's going to go over to there. She can go right over to there as well, and that will help them reach everything in there. And I'll do two up there until they've gone and reached that bit. They're delivering the rock. Putting more igneous rock in here. And it's going to push this back up the shaft a little bit until we burst this one open. But I don't mind about that. Now, up this way. So I've got this one is also doing something similar. We, we've cleaned all of that out. Uh, but I want to fill this in underneath under here. So I'm going to do that. There I've got one at least on his way up to go and do. And I don't think he's going to do any... Well, he might actually be going up to pick stuff up. No, he's, he's just put one in. 
If you could put the other one in, that'd be great. Because then I can put in the next... Oh, there he is. Right, you're going to put that one in. So then I put two more in there like that. And then I can put a couple more in here. And then I can start, like, building out... I need to come across here. I think I'm probably all right there, actually. Like, if I, if I just come out, like, a couple of steps or something, I don't really need to dig too much off of that. I don't need to worry too much about that. Just as long as I've got all the salt water from here heading down to the bottom, and I've got some little puddles of salt water here, I'm not going to worry too much about them. So we've got two lots of igneous rock in there, and I'll put that in there like that. Put out a bit more. You, I'm going to move you along like this. And I'm going to leave it there, I think. And let them build that bit in. Right back down to the bottom yet again. Uh, we'll fill that one in. Right, I had a tiny alarm go off there for a minute. Put you in there. So I got six blocks in there that will need to be put through. I've got... Digging there that I want to get rid of. A uh, U salt water gazer right here. This one active. Next activity in another 20 cycles. 19.3. Um, so not very long, but we do have a little bit to wait before it's quite finished. I mean, that's fine. We can deal with that. Now, do I want to fill this one up? I don't think I'm going to fill this one up completely. I'm going to go sort of about to there. And then I'll do another line over here. And just fill in that last little bit there. And then they can uh, they can leave it after that. All right. I'll, I'll let them go through and just dig that bit up. You in here, you're just about done. I just want to put in the last three squares back into there. And then that one is open. And I'm also going to want to... Just to have a ladder here and break that bit. I'm just going to go up there like that. Crack that bit open. Dig that out so that I've got that little bit of salt water there. Can drop down you, the anti-entropy one there. We will get on to that in a minute. We're not going to do it just yet. Uh, two more bits in here that need to be filled in. And then I can go with one more bit of tile. It's going to go about halfway like that. And the last little bit in there will probably end up mopping up or something. And all the way back up here, most of this is now done. I want to go with a bit more tile here. So we've got a gap of three, at one, two, three. If I go here with three, I'll put that one there. Probably do two. Shit, I'll just do one more there. That's all I'll do, and that should allow the maximum amount, the sort of the, the, the maximum amount of flow on this running down into here. I think I'm going to get much better than that. So we we'll leave that one there. So it's all now pouring, and it's, it's running straight down here. It's not coming in from this side. It doesn't drip in anywhere. It's all sealed all the way through. I've got little bits of water in here from other things but most of it is kind of just sealed in there so I don't need to come down here anymore for anything at all which means that the only thing we've got left to do is swap this over and put mesh tile in there and there like that and that seals it and then this bit down here is secure for that bit in under there this side will be well both sides of this be for like the, the central location i don't want any of the different lots of suits the different exit points being mixed up we want to keep them separate at all times so like that one that one's going to stay separate i go all the way back up here everything in there is done as i want apart from i'm thinking maybe that bit i don't like that bit so i'm going to change this i am going to change this so that one there i want to dig that one out and I want to dig out that one and that one. Just dig those off. What What are you doing with the salt, by the way? Not quite sure what they're doing with the salt. I didn't think I had any uses for salt. And then I want tile in here. So that one there has got two. And then that tile is going to go in there. That's, that's all I actually need to do is just lower that bit down by a tiny little bit. Deliver in a bit of igneous rock. And then that will be done in there. Okay. So you're 418 seconds every 661. 
And it's active for 80 cycles every 135, roughly. Next dormancy, another 15 cycles. So you got 15 cycles still to run. Why are you sat there just like that in a big like pile of liquid? Piles of liquid just seem really strange. You're idle. You're literally just sitting there bored with... Ooh, it's because you got stuck with that. So you're in the wrong side of that, which means that I've actually got to dismantle that one. So you can get out. Then you can climb up through, and then I've got to put it back again, because you're a lemon. So that one in there, I need that to be built. Okay, we're delivering iron ore, and then we're going to cover that one up. Nobody's going to go in there, are they? We're not going to have anything stupid happen. No, right, we've now got the mesh tile. No one can come in underneath here, which means that I am now able to break that one open there. This has already been opened up. I can go and remove that one and those in there like that. And then that bit there, that's going to be opened up as well. So they're coming in here and boom, we've removed that bit. We're digging out a little bit in here as well. Dig off that sand in there and then I'll dig that bit off. Dig that bit. And then I got all of this water that's going to come down here. So, yeah, there's some clean water on top and there's little bits of polluted water and stuff that's mixed in with it. But for the most part, it's just salt water. So it will keep the pipe absolutely crammed full with this salt water for at least a little while. If I go up here, you can see we've got some little tiny bits in here. And that's little tiny bits of salt water. And then it gets more and more and more and it, it comes all the way out like that. So we've got loads of water now coming down here. And then eventually, this up here is going to stop running, and I can like possibly mop that up or something. I, I don't really know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Or I'll probably just leave it. Although this, like that, is going to like stay with the water. The, the way that the water mechanics work, it kind of like it's a little bit weird. It's not particularly important, though. I've done what I set out to do, and that is have all of the salt water from the geyser at the top. Come down to this one down here at the bottom. I've got a water geyser there. And I don't want the normal water geyser to be involved with any of the other. I've got a load of oil in here. And we've got iron ore. There's a load of oxalite in there. We've got other treats and stuff in here that we could potentially make use of. But I've now done the first bit that I set out to do. I've got that. It's all out of the way. I've got this massive great big thing up here. Here comes the salt water. Looking at that all the way in through there, we've got some food decayed. We're still on 342 calories, uh, 42,000 calories, which is good. So we've got plenty of calories, but no problems with that. Got igneous rock, loads of it in here. And there comes the salt water. And it's slowly filling up this area in here with yet more water. Eventually, I might turn off some of this pump. But right now, I don't need to worry about that in the slightest. Let me go back to there and base. And I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep just filling that up. I'm going to fill that all the way back up to there. Eventually, we're going to have the whole lot come all the way back through to there. Let's dig you off and dig you two off as well. All the way back through. The whole way through we're going to do that. And of course it's still on a priority 9. So they're going to do it reasonably quickly as well. This ladder is coming down to here. I'm going to take that ladder down a bit further still. I'm going to bring you down there like that. I'm going to dig that bit from the bottom of that ladder where you'd be hanging from there. So that we can just drop down a little tiny bit further and have a look. So I've uncovered everything over on this part of the map. I haven't uncovered everything over there. And there's potentially some stuff in here that might be useful for something. I don't really know what. I don't want to let the heat from this go into here. I don't honestly know if that's going to make much difference to anything at this point. Curious... 
Whether or not I should go back up and worry about this for a minute. I gotta, like, there's obviously, there's, there's problems up here. We are gonna have some issues up here. Not quite sure what I should go and do about that. Like, I'm, I'm gonna need to be able to get out and, and go and do things. Like, we wanna launch rockets. That's, ooh. Let's deal with base cooling a minute. We've got oxygen, we've got hydrogen, we've got power. I've got absolutely loads of power. I've got all of these batteries in here. Now, this is all tasteful memorials for dupes that didn't quite make it. And uh, you can remove those. The dupe you don't then get to build a new memorial. It's kind of like that's it. It's game over for the memorials you, you don't have anymore. Um, so it's whether or not I actually want to do any more with it. I've got water here. And I don't know where this water keeps coming from. I keep getting, like, patches of water inside the base that don't make a lot of sense to me. Where are some of these bits of water coming from? Are they leaking in through here? I mean, it's possible. It is entirely possible that I have got some bits leaking. But I wouldn't have thought I've got bits leaking. I mean, maybe it just came from somebody who didn't clean up when they were supposed to, maybe? Is that possibility? And then all of these, like, all of these batteries right here, we've got the entire battery bank full. I want more batteries. I want a bigger battery bank. Now, this lot in here, they're kind of like my calories. I've got all these stone hatchlings, I've got all these stone hatch eggs. Um, they, th there's still room for all of that in there. This is pulling out hi some hydrogen and some oxygen, but Honestly, we're not using massive amounts of oxygen anymore. I'm producing far more than I'm using up. Despite... i I got to decide what to do next. It's, it's not hurting that I'm just sort of letting things tick over a little bit. But I, I really, I do have to seriously make some decisions about what I want to do next in here. Because, you know, what, what am I going to do? Am, am I going to... Keep running with, like this, do I, do I want to launch rockets? Are we going with that? How much longer do you want me to run this series? I mean, there's, there's several questions here that we need to be answering. How much longer do you want me to keep going with this for a start? Are you bored with it yet? Do you still want me to do more? I'm quite happy to do more. I'm really enjoying the series. I love playing this game. Let's run that down to there. I, I want to get oil. I want to get oil. I want to be extracting the oil from in here. We've got oil reservoirs and stuff like that. So we want to be kind of getting some of that out. I've got a whole load of coal and that in here that we could make use of. Maybe we could do something with that. I think to start off with, just kind of like a next little project, we're going to... Take that one over to there. I'm going to one, two, three, four, and I'm going to take that one over to there like that. One, two, three, four, and I'll take that one there like that. One more, and then one, two, three, four, and then you over there like that. Don't want to go any further than this. You know what? I think I'm going to go further. I'm going to go all the way over to here. Take that. Several lines all the way over to here. One, two, three, four. And take you back that way. Put you out over to there like that. And then I'm going to go with a little bit of digging. He says... So that's a four, and then I'm going to bring that down to there, and kablamo! Right, a little bit of digging, and I've got an awful lot of um, extra layers and that. I'm going to dig all of this out here in a huge, great big block, and as what we're essentially going to have is all of this water here, then we'll be able to go into a reservoir that will end up over on this side. I've got a load of oxalite in there. I don't really know what to, I know what I can do with that. I can mine that out and bring it up as rapidly as I possibly can. Let's look at the printing pod a minute. Just have a look. 
Uh, steel. <gasps> Ooh. Right. I will definitely go and print that right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build temporarily right here. I'm going to build a... Um, storage transit tubes. We haven't built any transit tubes yet. I'm going to build that one in there. And get them to go and build this one. We're delivering the granite and he's gone and built that one. So then I'm going to go into miscellaneous of this like organic is no manufactured material no uh refined metal no raw mineral no it's not organic it's not miscellaneous it's not metal or it's not a manufactured material liquefiable industrial ingredients filtration medium cultivable soil. I'm looking for oxalite. It's not a seed. A refined metal. What is oxalite actually classed as? Maybe it's because I don't have any oxalite ore and that's why because I've got this bit of oxalite here and I don't really want to waste it down here. I mean but I'm, I've got so much oxygen at the moment. I guess we don't really need to worry about it too much, do we? Like, I really don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'm just going to leave that one exactly as it is and let them keep doing all of the digging that I've got them set doing in there. Apart from, well, I was wanting to do another line. That was all. Tile one, two, three, four, and here. All right, do another line. Bring that one all the way along over there, and then dig. Dig that bit out. Like that. And dig everything out in there. Dig that out. Entombed, Harold, right there. Stinky down here is also in two. How has everybody gotten themselves dug in here already? Right, I'm going to need to break that line there. Like that. You could very quickly break that line there. Someone could come along and break that line. That would be really cool. There we go. Just let Harold out. Why would you go and do that? Seriously, these dupes just, like, you, 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 you do have to wonder at the thought processes behind some of these dupes at times. Although, I, I guess it's because that bit up there, maybe? I'm guessing because of that? So maybe I should just cancel that. We'll, we'll leave that one and we'll let them go on here and do, do these bits on the top. And then... Excuse me. Eventually, they'll come back down and they'll start doing some digging. So, if I go back over this way, I've got three spare suits on there. Suits are filling up. Just wondering if I should change this around a little bit and add in some more suits. I don't think we need to worry about that at the moment. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.